Hello, I'm Barry Glotfeldy. I'm the Director of Environmental Health Services at the Frederick County Health Department. And today I want to talk to you about rabies and how uh, you can help prevent rabies transmission and what the Health Department and Animal Control do to prevent rabies transmission. Um, although we're discussing the specific circumstances of a dog bite, rabies can also be transmitted by many other mammals, such as your pet cats and ferrets and livestock and wild animals, such as raccoons, foxes, and skunks. Our understanding of how rabies is transmitted and how the disease progresses in those infected is key for the prevention strategies that have been developed and successfully deployed against it and why fatalities are rare in the United States. If an animal is infected with rabies and the disease has progressed to the point that the virus is in its saliva so the disease can be transmitted through a bite, in a matter of days the disease will cause the animal's death. Let me state the obvious. that. With either wild or domesticated animals, perhaps the best action that anyone can take to prevent rabies is to avoid strange animals, especially ones that seem sick, and to not allow a bite to occur in the first place. Another important thing you can do as a pet owner is to have your pets vaccinated against rabies by a vet or one of the health department's rabies clinics. Dogs, cats, and ferrets can all be vaccinated. Even the best efforts can't always prevent animal bites from occurring. Even though a rabies-infected animal is often aggressive and can attack you, uh, dog bites are usually the result of a healthy animal reacting normally to a situation such as the owner giving it medication or the dog being frightened by a stranger appearing quickly. There is no reason that a bite from a dog, rabbit or otherwise, should result in anyone contracting rabies or undergoing unnecessary post-exposure treatment to prevent rabies. So let's talk about what you do if you suffer a dog bite or have the unfortunate circumstance of your dog biting someone else. Certainly one's first reaction in such circumstances is to seek medical treatment for the wound. And while it is true that washing the wound thoroughly with warm soapy water may be enough to prevent infection, you should not risk your life or another's on this one activity, especially if the animal that has bitten you turns out to be rabid. Uh, to de determine whether a more rigorous and expensive post-exposure treatment consisting of a series of injections is necessary, the health of the biting animal needs to be monitored for 10 days, the time frame in which an animal infected with rabies would die. Therefore, it is necessary for the health of the biting dog to be monitored for 10 days. And for this to happen, it is necessary for the person bitten to obtain contact information from the biting dog's owner. In Frederick County, bites are required to be reported to animal control. If you seek medical attention for a dog bite, your medical provider will collect what information you can provide them and notify animal control. If you do not need medical attention, you will need to contact animal control yourself. Animal control will take down the information about what occurred and where and the dog owner's information if you have it. They will then contact the biting dog's owner. If you don't get contact information or the owner is not with the animal, animal control should still be contacted to start a bite report. Provide them with as much information as you can, the breed of the dog, its size, whether it is wearing a collar, and what it looks like. Other information such as the time of day and location where the bite occurred is also necessary. If it is appropriate, animal control will patrol the area and the health department will make flyers to be distributed in an effort to find the animal. If the animal or owner cannot be located, post-exposure treatment may be the only means necessary to assure a bite victim's safety. In those cases where the pet and pet owner can be located, animal control will contact the owner of the dog to ensure that it's placed under a 10-day observation period. Animal control does not take the dog from the owner except in very extreme circumstances. The 10-day observation period usually happens in the animal's home. The dog may be walked on a leash and can be around people in its own household, but contact with other people and animals must be restricted. The dog will need to be seen by a vet during this time to assess its health. If it is due for a rabies vaccination or it has never had one, it will need to be vaccinated, but only after the 10-day observation period is over. The 10-day observation period is done to ensure that the dog is alive and healthy at the end of 10 days. There is virtually no possibility of an animal being alive 10 days after it has become rabid and its saliva contains the rabies virus. In short, if the biting dog is healthy at the end of the 10 days, it could not have been contagious when it bit you. 
However, if the dog develops symptoms of rabies or dies during the 10-day observation period, it will need to be sent by the health department to the state lab for testing as quickly as possible. Rabies post-exposure treatment is recommended by the health department if the 10-day observation period cannot be completed because the biting dog cannot be found or died. Post-exposure treatment is given at the emergency room. Uh, I've talked about a bite from a dog, but bites also occur with wild animals. The person bitten by a wild animal will need to contact animal control in these cases too. They will capture the animal if possible and it will be sent for testing. If the animal cannot be sent for rabies testing, your doctor uh, or the Community Health Services Division of the Health Department will provide advice on the steps you should take. I hope we've been able to show you that even if a dog bite occurs, that by following a few simple steps of sharing information, filing a bite report, and having your dog go through a 10-day observation period, that rabies can be prevented and unnecessary treatment for rabies can be prevented. If you have other questions or would like more information about rabies, contact the Community Health Services Division of the Health Department or the Environmental Health Services Division of the Health Department.